hey guys, Dominic and I are getting gas right now. <laughs> but he just told me to pull my phone out and take a selfie because my hair be wildin'. <laughs> like, it actually is crazy right now. But, um, we're actually getting Burger King this morning because we have that coupon that you can get online on the app. Um, and it is $5.99 for chicken sandwiches. So we're doing chicken sandwiches. It's $5.99. You get two of the original chicken sandwiches, which are the long ones. And those are so good. Like, they just are very nostalgic. They're not nearly as good as the other chicken sandwich they have there. But they're a nostalgic chicken sandwich. <laughs> so we're doing that. And then, um, you also get two sets of fries. So... I've been telling you guys about all the deals of the fast food life that we've been living because we have really been fast fooding it up lately. What is that all about? I guess we just never have food for lunchtime at the house, um, like on his days off because I don't prep the, we don't ever prep the food for his days off because we're like, we'll just cook something and then we end up getting fast food. But yeah, my hair do be wilding right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll talk to you guys a little later. <laughs> hey guys, so it is later in the day now. Dominic and I just did our Trader Joe's run. It's our last Trader Joe's run before we leave. But uh, I got raspberries on my shirt and I'm so bummed about it. You guys see me in the shirt constantly. And it's literally my favorite shirt, like honestly, that I own. Because <laughs> it's so comfortable and it's like perfect for when I'm out like running DoorDash because it just keeps me cool. But I got these crazy raspberries on it. Such a bummer. And then on top of it, Dominic said, so he showed me where the apple cider donuts are supposed to be because if you guys remember i mentioned the apple cider donuts to you guys last time and how I, I don't remember if i mentioned to you guys but last week when we went they were sold out and i was so upset <laughs> because i was like we're never gonna get them again they're gonna be gone forever so anyway dominic shows me like they put up a sign where they are now and they were completely empty and like it was right when i realized the thing about my shirt too and it was just kind of overwhelming in there today i've been doing really well with trader joe's <laughs> because we've adjusted to it and like we get in and out in like 10 minutes so we've adjusted to like the hustle and bustle of trader joe's but today for whatever reason everyone was overwhelming me because i was trying to pick out berries and because it's no longer berry season the berries are just shit and like obviously i got them on my shirt which i didn't realize until dominic came over and he told me he was like oh my gosh no you got it all over your shirt which is terrible because it's raspberries and you know raspberries don't really come out that easy but anyway back to what i was telling you about these apple cider donuts so he walks me over shows me no apple cider donuts left completely sold out i was so upset i was like as if this trip couldn't get worse <laughs> and then we walk up to the front counter the guy's checking us out i'm not paying attention at all i'm thinking about my shirt how i'm a little embarrassed because obviously it's just i mean you can't really even tell if you're not looking too hard but i'm just embarrassed so i'm in my phone googling how to get raspberry stain out of your shirt when i already know there's no chance i'm getting it out i already know i've had this happen before i've honestly had this happen a million times with berries and there's just no way to get it out even when you google it they tell you pretty much there's no way to get it out and then a different website suggests you rub um detergent on it and then you wash it in cold water and i'm like okay so you're not even gonna make me <laughs> try and do a mixture of like baking soda and vinegar or whatever you know how like if you can get the stain out like if it's like coffee or something sometimes they'll say put some baking soda on it and uh you guys know I, I just had an issue with coffee stain the last week and they said to like put I think it was cornstarch or something on the ground and then like rub it or something there was like a whole thing with this they're like put some laundry detergent on it and throw it in a cold wash because <laughs> they already know they're like we're not gonna put you through it and have you do all this shit knowing that you're probably not gonna be able to get that stain out they didn't say that but that's my assumption so as i was saying he we walk up to the front i'm in my phone and dominic's pulling out this like pamphlet that they have at trader joe's obviously they always have like this pamphlet and the guy's talking about all the fall things and how like pretty soon the fall is going to be gone and all this stuff he's just saying basically you can take one of those home blah blah blah, blah. and i was like yeah i know the those apple cider donuts he goes yeah they're amazing aren't they and like he is literally like probably holding my apple cider donuts at the time he's saying this but i'm not really paying that much attention because i didn't realize we got apple cider donuts so i'm like pissed i'm like they're completely sold out every time we come now they're sold out i'm so upset and he's 
just looking at me weird. And I'm standing here like, I don't know why he's looking at me so weird. And so we get out, obviously, and Dominic's like, you're so funny. And I was like, why? Like, I'm frustrated. And it was, it was so, it was like an awkward conversation <laughs> because I was so pissy about them not having apple cider donuts. And he was clearly didn't understand what I was trying to say. And I'm like, how does he not know they don't have any? Like, obviously, somebody has had to have asked do you have any apple cider donuts left? You know, because everybody likes apple cider donuts. But anyway, turns out Dominic picked up the last two boxes of apple cider donuts. So nobody has come up there and complained about them not having any yet because Dominic got the last two and was surprising me with them. And I had no idea. So it was just so funny because I was like, that lifted my mood right away. You guys know I, it doesn't take much. All it takes is some food, really. But honestly, because we're going out of town, I just knew I would never have apple cider donuts again if they didn't have them well I would have them obviously next year but we've only had them one time so far this year because every other time we've gone they've been sold out but anyway Dominic's in Walmart right now picking up stuff we were supposed to go in there together as well but I did not end up going with him because I obviously have the stain on my shirt so I'm just I'm just over it you guys I'm over the grocery shopping for the day but I was gonna show you everything we got but honestly it's pretty anticlimactic if we basically got the same stuff we get every single time so that is what's happening here but i will talk to you guys later today good morning you guys so it has been kind of a madhouse over here it's been a while since i picked up the camera it's probably been like four or five days since i picked the camera up but so much has happened first of all i wanted to tell you guys i got my eyebrows done the other day and I just have to say, they did a phenomenal job. This is the same place I went last time that I had them do my mustache and it was a whole thing. <laughs> or my, is that's what that's called, right? A mustache. <laughs> it's not called a mustache. It's called a, what is it? Upper lip. That's what it's called. Whatever. Mustache. Um, and it was, I was in so much pain and it was just, it wasn't a great experience the first time I went. But this time was amazing. They literally got me in and out and like, 12 minutes and it was I think my eyebrows look better than they've ever looked I actually called them up afterwards and was like yo my eyebrows are always a problem for me and for the first time ever I feel like they look okay like they're not the best eyebrows ever I, I mean they're, it's just my eyebrows but this is the best I've ever gotten my eyebrows done and the best they've looked which is good timing because we are leaving so soon and we're getting a house prepared for my mom coming so that's why it's kind of been like a madhouse because because my mom's coming and bringing her dog to meet Sunday and well not to meet Sunday but to watch Sunday um and the cats with her dog here but I wanted to show you guys this thing that I ordered it is a passport container and um it says where there is love there is life me and Dominic opened it up the other day and we were like this is actually so gorgeous so it came like tied in a bow here let me just show you because it was honestly so cute and I think I only spent like $20 on it or something. I will have it linked below. Um, but our passports came, by the way. I also haven't gotten to tell you guys that. So thank God for that, that our passports came in time. My ring still has not come yet. <laughs> so we're still waiting on my ring, still hoping that it comes. But it came like this with this cute little bow. And then when you open it, it has um, this like little saying on the top of it. It was actually like such a sweet moment when we opened it. It has this cute little saying on the top. I'll just like put it up close so you guys can pause and read if you want to, just cause it's like, it's pretty long. I don't even know if you'll be able to read it. Just click the link below <laughs> if you want to read that. But we like sat there and read it and it was just really cute. And then it comes with two little tags for your luggage. And it comes with two, this is my passport or Dominic's, one of ours. Um, two little things for your luggage, two passport containers, and a pen. So the pen says Mr. and Mrs. on it, which is just, I mean, it's all really, really beautiful for the price that we paid for it. I feel like we got a steal. Hopefully you guys can read that. It says Mr. and Mrs. right on the pen. And it's good to have a pen while you're there for some reason. I don't remember why. I heard it in a YouTube video. They were like, make sure you carry a pen with you. Now that I think of it, I don't know why we would need to do that. <laughs> but um, it comes with that. And then you've got these two little luggage containers. And they're really, really nice. Like, they actually feel like real leather. And then it has these little booklets. So this is the Mrs. one. 
And then this is the inside. I already, actually this one must be mine. I already put my passport in this. And then this is the Mr. One. And it says, where there is love, there is life. And then it says, passport mister. And then on the back of it, it says, to a lifetime of adventures together. And I saw these on Etsy for like way more money than they were on Amazon. I think it was like $35 on Etsy. And like I said, I only paid 24, I think at most. Um, and it's a pretty good deal. The only issue that we do have with it is the fact that it's so big, we might not even bring it with us <laughs> because they're just way bigger than the passport itself. I feel like we'd probably just rather bring our passport book on its own because obviously like, this is just big to carry around with you everywhere. And we're gonna have to while we're there just in case they check everything. And then I wanted to open these shoes with you. This is why I picked up the camera to vlog because I really wanna open my shoes, but I wanted to do it on camera with you guys because they're literally my favorite shoes of all time. I order them probably like once a year. Um, and they're just the best. They're the most comfortable shoes I own. I really love my Fitville shoes that I got from the company Fitville a while back, but my feet slip out of those every single time I wear them. Like they literally, my ankle slips out of the back of them. And these I never have an issue with. So this time I ordered them um, off of Amazon, which is where I always get the socks and shoes. If you have not heard of this brand or tried this brand before, I can't recommend the brand enough. Literally, I've been wearing this type of shoe since I was younger. Okay, you guys, I probably should have fixed my hair before picking up the camera today. But uh, this is the pair that I got. I just think it's so cute. I bought them for my mom in the past because uh, they didn't have my size in this color. But now they have my size. My I wear a 10 and a half. So I was really bummed when they didn't have the size. But I think that they're really, really cute. And they have like a nice little like heather like sweater type of gray on the inside. And let me just tell you, so comfortable. Best shoes ever. I order them every single time I need new shoes. I mean, okay, I say they're the best shoes ever, but I do need new shoes every year. But I feel like that's kind of common if you wear sneakers all the time to need a new pair every year. Cause like they end up getting like holes in them on the top and like through the sides. They end, they don't hold up that well, but I do wear them constantly and they're the most comfortable for my, I have wide feet. So if you have wide feet, 10 out of 10, recommend these shoes. Anyway, you guys, I have to go make this lunch really quick. We're having this like grease thing that we bought from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna go make this lunch and then it's like a Greek pie-like thing. I think it's got egg in it or something. I'll take a video of it for you guys so you can see. But um, I'm gonna do that and then tomorrow I'm hoping to get to decorating, not decorating, but like I wanna put up all this stuff from Christmas tree shops that I got. Cause literally it's all still sitting over there where I did the haul weeks ago. I feel like it was like a month ago now that I picked all this stuff up and I have, I have not moved it <laughs> because I've just been so busy with everything else. Like if you could see this corner, I don't even want to show you. It's got so many things for the wedding in it <laughs> and so many fall things. So I got to do that before my mom comes because I want to have it like decorated cute for when she gets here. And then, um, I guess in this vlog, you'll probably get to meet Eclair too, my mom's little puppy. So I'm excited, excited about that as well. But I I will talk to you guys in a bit. <laughs> so I just stopped the camera and then I put my, I like refixed my hair to put my hair back up. I'm like, why the hell do I not do that before I get on camera? <laughs> I'm just like, oh, first thing out of bed, this is what I look like. <laughs> like this looks infinitely better. It still looks like shit to be honest, but it looks better than it did before. Anyway, you guys, I'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs> so this is the pie thing that i'm making from trader joe's it's called a spanacorpia or something spana spanacopita so that looks so yummy it reminds me of baklava i feel like we're gonna love it this is what it looks like when you pull it out of the container i'm just gonna throw it in the oven and we'll see what it looks like afterwards Okay, first of all, you guys, I'm experimenting with this cinematic 
situation on my iPhone. And I don't know if I like it that much. <laughs> I think it's pretty, but like it struggles to focus. But I wanted to show you guys. I just put these out. Dominic actually bought me flowers last night. We are going to have to put those somewhere high because I'm pretty sure they're lilies. And I have been told that lilies make your cats, they kill your cat. So I just put them out for the second to show you guys the, uh, like way that I have this set up here. So I'm probably going to end up putting them on top of the refrigerator over there. So I'm going to move the sugar and all that jazz and I'm going to put the flowers up on top of there. But I do think that this looks so pretty. <laughs> so I might take like a picture for Instagram or something. But see how this is like, okay, so I can click where I want it to focus with the cinematic, which is cool, but not necessary. I'm going to turn that off real quick. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, that looks so much better to me. So, they obviously have the cinematic version on this new iPhone, and I'm pretty sure they had it on the iPhone 13 as well, but I think that it looks good just basic. Like, I don't really need the cinematic version. But I do think, like, the color combination here looks so beautiful. The only thing is, is I would obviously move this thing, which we've all already talked about, and I have some great ideas for what to do with that for next year because I have not gotten around to ordering a thing to put it on my wall, which I think is just a genius thing to like put the plate on a wall. So smart, love that idea, but I haven't gotten around to ordering that. But I do love what I did with this area. I just think it looks so beautiful. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm just realizing Dominic's gonna notice this when he gets home for sure. He's gonna be like, what is wrong with you? Maybe he won't, because I'm gonna put it over on top of the um, fridge now, but the gather, this is too much gather, right? What are we doing? It's like we double down on everybody needs to gather around this little corner. <laughs> not a fan of that, but let's just pretend that's not what it is. Cause I feel like all the colors look gorgeous together. And then in here, I mean, I didn't really do anything in here. You guys, <laughs> to be honest, I literally just, uh, put the blanket out and then it got all messed up cause Sunday crawled on it. So that's what we're dealing with there. She's like, why would you blame everything on me? I know, baby. I know. You're my sweet girl. My sweet baby. Hi, baby. What is in your hair? What is this? Piece of string. You haven't been getting into string or something? But anyway, I do love this blanket. For some reason, I thought it was sparkly, and it isn't. It's just, like, got these really, like, beautiful embroidered pumpkins. Okay, Blossom. Blossom really does not want me to be filming right now <laughs> and then i just left this the same you guys i was planning on putting stuff in it but you guys all commented on my video and told me how much you liked it the way that it was so i just left it the same i was planning on putting the gather thing in here but then i also was just like the purple is not gonna go well with this area i feel like the only purple thing is the like circle and look at another gather what is up with me <laughs> apparently i'm like loving the gather or something but yeah so that's it that's what we did i don't really have time to do much else you guys because my mom's gonna be here any minute now so i gotta prepare for that but i will check back in with you guys later once she's here she is bringing uh her little puppy so i'm so excited because baby sunday is going to meet a new little puppy are you excited baby She's probably more excited for grandma coming, but it will be interesting to see how this goes for them. Oh, I know. You want pets, don't you? There you go, baby. Hello, you guys. So, it is the next day now, and my mom's on a walk right now with Eclair, so I figured I would chat with you guys. So, Eclair and Sunday met yesterday. It was the cutest thing ever. I'll overlay, like, some video of it for you guys. I, they're getting along. It, it's taking them a minute, but, well, it's not even taking Eclair a minute. And Claire is having a great time with Sunday. But Sunday, on the other hand, is not used to, like, another dog. She's more just used to the cats. So I think they're all handling it pretty well, actually. I'll also insert some footage of Eclair meeting Keton. And it, like, I was shocked at how well Keton handled it. It was actually so funny when my mom and I first came in. We left Dominic outside with Sunday. So, like, we had them meet. The way we did it was we had Sunday and Eclair meet outside. And then we left Dominic out there with Sunday. And we brought Eclair in to meet the, um, or no, no, we didn't leave Dominic out there with Sunday. Because Sunday was in my mom's hands. Where was Dominic when that happened? 
Oh, he was moving my mom's car. Okay, so he was moving my mom's car, and Sunday was in my mom's hands, but, like, my mom kind of, like, held Sunday off to the side so that the cats couldn't see Sunday. <laughs> and they, I think, thought that Eclair was Sunday at first. Um, So they were fine with her. They were a little apprehensive because she was obviously acting different with, than Sunday. Well, I'm pretty sure they thought she was Sunday originally. Then, obviously, they realized she was not Sunday based on the fact that she was very, very playful with them. <laughs> and Sunday has gone through that phase and known, like, now knows how to play with the cat. Where Eclair is just like, an animal, I want to play. So she was, like, all over. I will insert as much video footage as I can of that, of, like, the whole interaction. But it's just so cute. I'm so happy that they're getting along because we were really, really nervous. We were nervous about the whole entire thing, honestly. We were nervous that we were going, my mom was going to get here, be here for only, like, a couple of days with us, and they weren't really going to get the hang of Eclair because when we first got Sunday, when I tell you the cat's hated Sunday. They absolutely hated Sunday. Keaton specifically despised Sunday. <laughs> so the fact that they like are doing okay makes me feel so much better with us leaving. Um, so that's amazing. But what I wanted to show you guys, where is it? I just got it in my hand. Give me a second. I wanted to show you guys this cute little heart that me and my friend Jay found when we went on a walk through the neighborhood. Um, it is literally just like this cute little quilted heart and you go to the the website and it says I found a quilted heart I need a home and Jay pulled it off the tree and she gave it to me so I think it's so cute she actually has no idea I don't think she knows that Dominic and I aren't married yet um so she doesn't even know like I haven't even told her she's my neighbor by the way my best friend neighbor here but I haven't really talked to her about the fact that we were getting married so she doesn't know but she gave me this and it's going I'm gonna use it as my something blue for our wedding I just thought that was so adorable and yeah, I wanted to show you guys that. But what I really want to show you is uh, these bras that just came in. So I figured I'd open them with you guys. This company, HSIA, sent them to me. Uh, so, I mean, I think they want me to do a whole video on it. And I will, but it's not going to be for a while because <laughs> I am obviously leaving. So I'm not going to be able to film the video for a while. So I figured I'd just open it on screen. Hopefully it'll be good for them for now. And then if I do do a try on haul, which I don't think I will if I'm being honest because I don't really do try on hauls for bras. But this is cute. They came, they each came in their own little box. But I thought it'd be fun to open them up. But I'm a little concerned because this is like a really thin box, honestly. <laughs> so I don't okay wow okay I've never had bras that are like this delicate this is beautiful okay so it is like just a delicate bra there's no chance in any chance I would be able to try these on for you guys but how gorgeous is this so pretty so they come all the way up to size, I think it was 36 triple D, which I wear 38 triple D normally. So I would have to put an extender with it, but they feel really, really nice, really luxury. I will have their bras linked down below for you guys as well. Yeah, they sent me four of these. I can't believe this, this is gorgeous. So there's that one. This one is in, I think like a blush pink color. So pretty, very see-through. <laughs> So definitely would not be able to wear these on screen for you guys. But I can't believe they fit them in this tiny thing. I wonder, I'm going to try them on and see if they fit me. Because if they do, one of my biggest struggles when it comes to like packing for a trip is my bras. Because my bras are always so like heavy duty and big. To like fit them into a suitcase or like a bag is just it's hard <laughs> those of you that are bigger understand the struggle it's not even just like bras it's also like clothing clothing is really hard to even pack when you're larger because you can only fit so much and when you're bigger so that is my dilemma there also piece my uh all of my stuff i ended up putting out the cutting board that i got from uh christmas tree shops and then this little whatever that thing's called, from Christmas Tree Shops. And then the other thing I put out was the mat that I showed you guys in the haul. But anyway, that's what I was saying. It's really hard to pack for, like to pack things into a small suitcase, but these will definitely fit because they're like 
this feels like something like somebody would buy from Victoria's Secret, like a really tiny bra. Love that. And then we're going to open the next one. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, let's see. Check this one out. Ooh, this one's pretty. Okay, this one's a 44 triple D, so I don't know if this one's gonna fit me. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. <laughs> this one might not fit because I'm already concerned about the 36 triple D. But how beautiful is that? How cute, I love the little polka dots on it. Okay, another like super thin bra. Yeah, like this, there's no way this would fit me. But that's okay. That's it's on me because that's the that's the actually it would if I put an extender on it, maybe. Um maybe it would fit me. The color is gorgeous though. Actually, I just realized that the color um of these kind of matches my shirt that I'm wearing. I got the maroon and then I also have a light the light pink, and there's light pink up the top. But anyway, that is this one. And then we've got, this is fun. I feel like I'm looking at Christmas morning here opening these. Okay, this one is a black 46 triple D. Um, another like nice lacy bra. This is really nice, you guys. I'm very, very impressed actually. Very full coverage to cover most of my boob, which will be amazing. And yeah, that's so delicate and gorgeous. And last, but definitely not least, is this one, which is another black one. And the pattern is, it has like the polka dots. Hopefully you guys can see. Um, I'm sure it's not actually called polka dots, which right here. <laughs> what is that called, you guys? You'll know probably way more than I do. And then it's got like flowers on it. How beautiful. These are all gorgeous. <laughs> I'm actually so impressed by these. Okay, so that's fun. So that'll be really amazing if I can get them to fit and bring them on my trip with me because like I said, I know I'm not gonna be able to fit most of my bras in my carry-on. And I'm still I'm still banking on the carry-on life, you guys. And I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> but I really am still hoping that I can make the carry-on work. Also, I still haven't gotten my ring. <laughs> I have not gotten my wedding ring yet or my wedding band because it was a whole thing the company reached out to me and they said i think okay so from my my experience dealing with companies like chinese based companies um the experience i have from communicating with them online that is what i am feeling is happening with my band <laughs> i feel like the place i ordered my wedding band from is they either are a chinese based company or they have a chinese based system that like that's the su support desk person that's like emailing me because it's very clear she doesn't not speaking very good english or any english to be honest she's just really like short and to the point so you can kind of tell she could not be chinese based it could be anywhere but they said that it was shipped out of california but they reached out to me and they said hey uh we shipped your ring your ring is in transit however we put the wrong zip code i'm like of all things to get lost in the mail <laughs> like i'm so frustrated by it because like you guys see i order from companies all the freaking time i get stuff all the time from companies and they have never i've never had anything get lost in the mail from these companies like they've never messed up my address so why is it that i paid a shit ton of money <laughs> to this company it is an etsy seller but why is it that I pay a bunch of money to this company and they cannot get my zip code right? Like, I just don't understand that. I understand everybody makes mistakes. It's really not a big deal. I, I wouldn't have minded. I wouldn't be upset. However, the message that she sent to me was literally just not a nice message. It was like, hey, your ring's in transit. So I get so excited when I see that. I click into the message and she's like, we sent it to the wrong zip code. It was our mistake. Can you reach out to the postal courier? How, if that, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but can you reach out to the postal courier and ask him to change the zip code? And I'm like, first of all, and she goes, it's in Nashville right now. I'm like, I don't know where it is in Nashville. There's probably like a million post offices in, in Nashville. This is Nashville we're speaking of, which is what leads me to believe that she's not familiar with with the United States and also the fact that she used postal courier was weird the fact that she's asking me to do it was weird because like that's not really my responsibility since I'm not the one that put the wrong zip code in 
Either way, I think they're shipping my ring back to <laughs> back to California now or wherever it was shipped out of. It says it was shipped out of California, so I believe that. But I think they're sending my ring back to California and then I'm probably not gonna get it in time because I only have a couple more days till we leave. <laughs> so, I mean, we'll see. You guys will be as shocked as I will when the time comes and if I have my wedding ring on my wedding day or not. I will be really sad if I do not. <laughs> But like you guys know, I ordered the Modern Gents bands, but I don't really want to use that as my wedding band because I know for sure, like I'm going to want the other band as my long-term wedding band. But I suppose I could use one of those as my wedding band overseas and like I could wear both of them after I get the actual one. We'll see what I end up doing. I am pretty frustrated by it. But back to these bras, definitely check them out. I will link them down below. I might end up, we'll see. If they fit me, I will end up doing like some sort of haul with bras, which I've done in the past. You guys always love my bras and I always love sharing them with you because I know how hard it is to find like a good plus size bra brand. I was so pumped to see that these went up to the size 36 triple D because so many companies do not are not size inclusive and these are like cute bras too obviously this one's a 34 and most of that most of the ones went up to a 34 triple d um 36 was like the top level that like there was only like six or seven bras but even that is still really a good amount of bras for how delicate and beautiful they are because it's very very rare <laughs> to find like a delicate very like flimsy bra like this in our size or at least my size <laughs> um but anyway guys i'm gonna wrap this video up here we're leaving in a couple of days i'm so excited i have videos coming for you guys that i know you guys are going to be pumped out about when you see them i'm going to be sharing where we're going <laughs> i'm going to be sharing all sorts of tips on how we came to the conclusion of where we're going all sorts of like just fun videos that I pre-filmed and I just can't wait for you guys to see. But I'm gonna end this here now because I know my mom's gonna be back in any minute now with little baby Eclair and I wanna spend a couple of days with her and Dominic before we go off and get married. I'm so excited. All right guys, I love you. I will see you later. <laughs>